Hello. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. I still feel odd with the intros. I don't know why. Once I get talking, I'm fine. But once I say, hello, welcome back, I feel weird. I still don't know why. I was going to do a, a channeled video for you guys, but, and I kind of did one yesterday, but I felt kind of weird. And, and saying that, I mean, I can channel spirits when I'm talking to somebody, if somebody comes to me and they want advice or suggestions or, or if they're talking about their past loved ones, sometimes they will come through to me. But to ask an entity or even my higher self, hey, do you want to channel a message to humanity today? For some reason, my, um, how do you call it? my um shoot <laughs> my um I, I i feel like i'm making things up i feel like it's my thoughts and my words and not spirits whereas when somebody is you know talking to me through the, uh, about their loved ones or whatever they have passed it clearly comes through i know exactly it's not me but for some reason i question it whenever i want to do a video and have a spirit channel through me I don't know why that does that to me. I tried yesterday. Um, I felt that it was telling me, hey, uh, just go ahead and talk to the video and when needed, I'll channel my words through you. And that did happen, but I still questioned it. I don't know why. I might upload it in the future or redo it at some point, I don't know. I actually did a tour of my apartment and I, I will probably edit edit it today. I just kind of wanted to get on here and say hi. It's really hard for me to get on here and I try, I really do. And just talk about anything because my life is so boring. I don't go do anything. I work four 10 hour days and when I'm off, I don't do anything. I can't afford to do anything for one. So I don't go anywhere. I watch TV or read and meditate. But <laughs> I thought this came across. I, uh, had something happen to me yesterday and I thought several times today that I, sure, I would share it with you, but I forgot until just now. Yesterday, well, let me back up, for a while now, I've been wanting my, my light family to come to me and materialize in person or even in a holographic form and talk and communicate. And it's real hard to do that when I take sleeping pills and I tried to go to sleep and I, I woke up and I know they're there because it, you know they're doing things to me. But sometimes it's really hard to focus because I'm so groggy, I'm so medicated. I've been thinking on my days that I don't work, I have that, that option to stay up a little later. So yesterday I thought, you know, I'm gonna kind of sit in a dimly lit room with no sound whatsoever and I'm gonna meditate, but I'm gonna invite them in and have them communicate with me and talk to me and um, see if they will. Well, last night I did my, my pose and meditation with my legs crossed and everything. It was real quiet and it's very hard for me because my ears ring consistently since I was born. And it has always bothered me because when it's bedtime, and if I don't have TV on and no fan, nothing, the ringing becomes excruciating, and I can't sleep, so I have to have a sound on. So last night, I'm during med doing my meditation, and it's quiet. And I've often thought, I wonder if they try talking to me when I have my headset on, because their whole earphone is the Beats ear earmuffs type thing. And so I'm like, wonder if they're trying to communicate because I can't hear them and you know, I'm hearing this, these tones. So I didn't have that last night. And I really toughed it out and really tried to clear my mind. And I even tried to play with the ringing in my ears. And I tried to manipulate it and sending that to them, more or less saying, hey, this is where I am, come to me. They know where I'm at. Uh, but I do know for a fact that I think it's their ship when their ship is real close to me, my ears ring so loud that they feel like they're gonna burst. Not my ears, my eardrums. But last night, you know, I tried to manipulate it and I think I did something to my left ear because it started ringing louder than my right. 
and I, I'm trying to, you know, clear my mind and just go with it. Then all of a sudden, from the top of my head down, well, to the, this side, the top of my head all around to the front right here, I felt like little bugs were on top of my head and it, they were coming down. And then it come down this side more than this side for some reason. And it just felt like a big bug was going down. And then it kind of went down on my face. And it took everything I had not to, you know, reach up there. But I had asked them to touch me or signal me in some way when they're here and they want to communicate. So I took that as a sign and I opened my eyes and looked around. I didn't see anything. So I closed my eyes and it started again. So I, I kind of had the feeling that maybe they were sending me energy or they were opening up my crown chakra. I don't know, so many things are going through my mind. But then my legs started going to sleep and uh, I couldn't take it no more. I tried to sit there as long as I could and I couldn't, I couldn't go anymore. And my sleeping pill kicked in. I took it and meditated. I kind of wanted to be in that uh, in-between stage and you know, I got there. I just didn't see anything. I don't know if maybe the room was too lit up. I had a, I think I just had my kitchen light on, which is what you see right there. And that's it. That's all I had. So that's, that's all that went on. Although I will say that I didn't have a visit for like almost a month and that really just gets to me. And even the little beings that go on my ceiling and watch me throughout the whole night, I was told, and I'm not 100% sure, but I was told that they change my DNA. They work on my B, a, a BNA, my DNA through the night. But when I open my eyes and I see them, they take off. And sometimes they don't come back. And if they do, they come invisible. Here lately, I've been seeing them again, which makes me happy because I know they're, they're benevolent. I know they're good or they would, you know, do something bad to me already and they haven't. I know they watch over me and I maybe think that they protect me also. I'm not 100% sure. Um, they're the cutest little thing is they look like little crabby spiders and they have big eyes and sometimes their eyes will just shine. And, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Krabs, I think it is. I'm SpongeBob. His big eyes. Sometimes they look like that. It's, it's strange. Well, not even strange. It's just odd. Not even odd. I, I feel like those are negative words and they're not negative beings. So I, I always try to be positive in everything I do and say. So I'm assuming, I hope, I hope this is enough for today's video. I'll do another one. Of course, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to end this now. Um, I just wanted to say hi. I love you guys and I'm sending you all love, light, and peace. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Thank you.